So usually when I'm heading to the first location, I start talking about the key and how each resident, their key is individual to them. So that their key will get them into their apartment, onto the floors and the amenities, but that once they're in their apartment, that their individual key locks their bedroom door and that their um, roommates cannot use their key to unlock their bedroom door. So right when I enter the three bedroom, I really emphasize the laundry room since this is the only um, floor plan that has a whole room dedicated to the laundry and that the washer and dryer is not stacked in this one. I always toss into that the shelving unit above is included because for a lot of people that is really important. And then next I usually point out the closet and I give them like examples of things that I've seen residents do such as shoe racks, winter coats, bins of storage, as well as vacuums, just so that way they can start to visualize how they're going to utilize all this space. And then as we move throughout the apartment, I point out that all of our apartments are fully furnished as well as I physically point out the individual pieces that come with the apartment. So, I point out the um, dining room table as well as the amount of chairs that they get. And then in the kitchen, I touch on the appliances and I always point out that dishwasher and garbage disposal is included since that is, again, important to college kids. And then in the living room, I do, um, I bring up how the TV does come mounted to the wall but that they still get a TV stand as well as I point out that blinds are included. And then once you head into the bedroom to show them, it is important to toss in that this is a queen size memory foam mattress. We don't just give them any regular crappy mattress, it's a memory foam. As well as I touch on the storage space underneath the bed. That way they can again see how to utilize the space that we give them that adapts best to them. And I always touch on the fact that there is no overhead light in the bath bedroom. And then once you move into the closet, I always point out that all the bedrooms have the same exact um, storage space with the closet system as well as that the shelves are removable and like you can lift them up down however the best fits you. And then I point out that you still do get drawers as well though just to kind of tuck certain things away. The one thing I make sure to hit in the bathroom is that the light is on a timer. Since they're paying electricity it's important for them to know that if they ever do forget this light since it's tucked back here that it will eventually shut itself off. And then also make sure that you point out to them that their shower space will either have a detachable shower head or a stool. It just depends on their bed space. So also make sure to include the fact that they do have a linen closet over here as well. And once you head into this first bedroom over here, a lot of times people will ask you if you don't beat them to it. This setup is different. You enter into the bathroom and then the closet space. It's just you have to explain to them that it's a different shape but that they do still get the same exact amount of storage. So as you can see, I'm gonna to have to key into the door. So your key is individualized to you. You'll, your key will get you into your apartment, into the amenities as well as um, you can lock your own personal door and just your key opens your bedroom door. Your roommates cannot get into your bedroom once you lock it. So my favorite part about our three bedroom is the fact that you get a whole laundry room as well as the shelving above it. In most of our other models, um, the washer and dryer is stacked on top of each other, but this one you get a whole additional space as well as an additional linen closet. I've seen people put shoe racks in there as well as bins and vacuums. It's just a nice additional storage area. That way your closet doesn't become too cramped. All of our apartments are fully furnished. So in here you do get your dining room table and chairs. The amount of chairs you have depends on the bed space that you do choose. As well as all the appliances are included and you get a garbage disposal as well as a dishwasher which is nice if you're running behind or if you're just a super busy person, you can just run your dishwasher. At this point, can I, um, do you guys want anything to drink? Any some candy? So then as we move through here, um, again, the furniture that's included is you do get bar stools for your counter, as well as the chair, the ta uh, couch, table. The TV does come mounted to the wall, but you still do get a TV stand and a corner table. Lines are included, the drapes are not, but you are more than welcome to hang drapes on your own if you wish. Back through here we have our first bedroom. And in your bedroom, you get a queen size memory foam mattress, as well as tons of storage underneath the bed. So you can, again, I've seen people put shoe racks under there, you can put bins under there. You also get the table, chair, and side table. The nice thing is, is if you do want to condense down, you can move your um, chair over to the side and the side table does fit right underneath it next to the chair. Through in here you have your California walkthrough style closet. Tons of storage as well as drawers to just for socks if you want to kind of tuck those away and don't want them laying all around. 
The nice thing about this is the shelves are detachable to where you can change the width and however much um, clothes you can fit on them. Through here you have your bathroom and the nice thing is, is since um, in your rent all of your utilities are included so we take care of your Wi-Fi, your cable, your waste disposal and water. So the only thing you have to worry about is electricity which is split amongst your roommates. This light switch is on a timer and since your bathroom is kind of tucked back here if you ever forget about it it's not a huge deal it eventually shuts itself off. And then here in your bathroom you will have either a detachable shower head or a stool it just depends on the bed space that you choose. And then on the other side of the apartment, um, the bed space is slightly different. This side of the apartment also has another additional linen closet. As well as once you enter in through here, you enter into your restroom first before you enter into your closet. The nice thing is though, it is still the same amount of storage and the same amount of space. It's truly just a different shape. 